All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another Stock Market Outlook video brought to you by DFU. As always, we're gonna run through the market indexes, cover what happened last week, definitely some interesting stuff with the reversal on Wednesday and resulting recovery. Uh, then we'll run through the leading groups, market leaders, as well as some top opportunities right now. So definitely gonna be a good one. And before we actually dive into the charts, I do just wanna wish everybody a happy holiday season. Merry Christmas to everybody. Hopefully you guys are gonna get to spend some time with family and friends and uh, take a little bit of a break from the markets over the next few weeks. So happy holidays to everybody. And uh, let's dive right back into it. And also, I do want to mention actually, uh, that trader line is currently running a holiday sale on our master classes. I can sincerely say that these will help your process and, and your trading system, especially if you're in the first few years of, uh, you know, building your process and all of that. Uh, you can learn from Stan Weinstein, market legend, um, it was a really unique opportunity to get to work with him. You can learn his whole stage analysis framework uh, taught by him. Um, and this forms kind of the basis of my methodology. And a lot of the core principles that I use to trade uh, come from uh, Stan Weinstein and his book. Um, I'd also really, really recommend uh, the Oliver Kell, especially uh, the Swing Trader Magic Class, especially right now, uh, because we are also offering one free month of the swing report along with it. Uh, this is his thoughts on a weekly basis, market analysis, top ideas, focus lists, as well as a lot of education. And we'll actually be doing an educational webinar each month as well. The first one is about to be scheduled in January. So this is the best, best time uh, to take the Swing Trader Masterclass. I'm sure some of you guys out there watching have already took it. And if you have and, and you found it helpful, uh, let us know in the comments just so other people uh, can see you know some other people's thoughts on the class, but I would really recommend it. Uh, the latest one we did was the John Boyk Historical Analysis Masterclass covering over 100 years of um, you know, market turns, market bottoms, market tops, uh, top market leaders from each of the cycles, as well as how legendary traders traded these cycles. And we have a lot of guest appearances from Oliver Kell, uh, Jim Ropel, Dr. Eric Wish, um, some great, great guest appearances. And uh, this is a lot more in depth than we were actually planning on it. And I think 597 is a tremendous steal for the amount of value you get. So definitely check this out. It also comes with uh, a huge, huge, huge PDF resource, basically a condensed version of all of John's books all put together for you, basically a treat sheet on how to trade the market uh, successfully, kind of gives you the whole blueprint. So I highly recommend that as well. Um, also the Training Psychology Masterclass, this is also a great time to sign up for this because we're also offering one free month of Jared's new service. So you kind of get that um, on-demand live help as well with the Training Psychology in addition to getting taught his full system. Um, a lot of people have a trading system, but they don't necessarily have a system for trading psychology, dealing with mental game issues. And that's what this course is designed to help with. And last but not least, we've got the IPO and Super Growth Stock Masterclass with the great Lifecycle Trade team. Uh, many of you, I'm sure, have read their book, and this goes way more in depth into their process. Um, each of them talk about their favorite setups, their sell rules, their whole trading systems, and uh, it was, it's a great, great resource. Highly recommend checking that as well. But uh, you can visit traderline.com slash holiday sale, and I'll have the link down below in the description, but would highly recommend uh, checking out some of these resources, especially if you want to really turn a new leaf and improve your performance next year in 2024, uh, especially the Oliver Kell Swing Trade Masterclass, especially because we're giving this one free month as well. I think this will be going away pretty soon. Uh, so check that out if you're interested. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and dive right in to the market indexes to start with. Um, I was making a few notes on this market turn. We had this failed uh, bear flag breakdown. This was the Fed day expectation breaker moving up towards that 21 EMA. This is what really started the cycle. And since then, you know, we've had a power move up, some nice unfilled gaps in here. Respect for the 21 EMA as the best uh, markets do, as the best leading stocks do and we just continue to trend higher. Now we did have a little bit of an acceleration upwards over the past few weeks, and this is kind of what caused that big reversal on Wednesday. We had a lot of bullishness, uh, strong move upwards, and we just needed to take the wind out of the sails a little bit. And uh, this was a very negative day, downside reversal, close near lows. The expectation really after a day like this is we continue lower. So the fact that we had an inside day, a little bit of a kicker candle, and then have held up into the end of the week, I think is a strong positive, but this could just be kind of the start of some chop sideways move. 
let that 21 EMA catch up to price again. And I think that would be very, very uh, constructive and reset a lot of good charts. Uh, if you look around at the market leaders, a lot of them have come pretty far over the past uh, 40 days or so. Uh, some rest would be warranted and would set up the next kind of uh, potential buy points, low risk buy points that we can take advantage of. So um, this was definitely a day to take note of and a day where you're watching the next day to see if we continue to push lower, if it's the start of a more severe pullback decline. But the fact that we were able to hold up here is definitely constructive and a lot of stocks put in inside days and acted well as well into the end of the week. So that is the QQQ. Looking at the IWO, the Russell 2000 growth, uh, this had a similar big downside reversal. It looked like it was gonna fill this gap. Again, we weren't able to, so that's a positive expectation breaker on this Thursday. And then even today, we pushed up a little bit higher. So I still wouldn't mind you know, some chop sideways move for a few weeks. Uh, we're right at these previous highs, a uh, potential um, and kind of um, expected resistance level, resistance zone. Uh, so I wouldn't mind some consolidation here, let the moving average catch up to price, let that 200 day moving average curl up again, 50 SMA catch up to, and then start move higher. I think that would be very constructive. We'll see what we can get. We, we can't, you know, um, we can't demand from the market what we're gonna get, but I think that would uh, set up some great charts here. And I love this power move upward and some consolidation would be nice and warranted, but we'll have to take it as it comes. So from the market index perspective, we're above a rising 21 EMA on the IWO as well as the QQQ. Things look pretty good. We might be going through a little bit of chop over the next few weeks, uh, but you know things for the most part are trending really nicely. In terms of the leading groups in the market, I'd have to say that the crypto space has been the clear leader this week. Uh, we saw a continuation up from Coin, Mara, Riot, all those names there uh, that will go through the individual individual charts in a minute. Um, but you know, this is kind of uh, the the best leading group and the biggest opportunity this market cycle, along with you know genomics, AI, semiconductors. Um, if we bring up AMD, uh, this has been. Uh, a super strong move since uh, the market bottom. And let me hide this bottom bar here. You can see this got started with uh, this move through the range, October 31st, uh, put in a statement bar after earnings here, and then progressed from that consolidation day. And has moved from 108 to 139 or so in just a matter of weeks. So AI semiconductor is definitely an area of interest. NVIDIA as well is acting a little bit better. Uh, we can see it kind of coiling right near all-time highs. Uh, I think it's been a lot more constructive since the start of this market cycle. We pushed higher, you know, found resistance at that 500 level, which has been resistance in the past. Uh, but we found support now at the 50 SMA, which we haven't really seen. We can, you can see we undercut it here, we undercut it here. But now for the first time, we're respecting that moving average. Uh, we're coiling back into that 21 EMA. Uh, so a little bit of VCP type action. And we'll see if we can finally get uh, another move up after this significant move off lows uh, back early this year. It's basically been basing since um, the middle of July. So we'll see if we can get a move higher um, and continuation of that stage two uptrend. Um, speaking of genomics, there's been some definitely some strong movers. Twist is one I highlighted in uh, my newsletter, my free newsletter. The link to that will be down below. Um, back during this handle here, it's progressed really nicely, but there's been obviously some other super strong moves uh, in the genomic space. You have to be careful, you know, biotech, you have to be careful. Uh, some of the moves are very volatile as well as not always viable, um, but there are some times this one actually has, if we bring up earnings and sales, this actually has very strong earnings growth and, and sales growth or not the strongest growth, but actually got has numbers, which is rare for a biotech. Um, and this is one that caught my eye back in this handle. Um, and it's been acting very, very well. So genomics has been good. Um, BLD, the home builders, let me bring that up, uh, have also been a fantastic, fantastic theme, uh, going sideways, treading water the past few weeks, but very strong off lows. And if we just bring up Nail, the 3X ETF, you can see how strong this has been off lows. Uh, wedge pop here on November 1st, uh, moved up, you know, formed a tight consolidation, gapped up again, was extremely, extremely tight and nice breakout here. This was definitely viable. Uh, let's see, managing risk to these consolidation lows is only about uh, 5%, so not too bad. Low of the day, um, you know, not too bad either and very strong move towards these previous highs. So uh, very strong action from this theme. So crypto, uh, genomics, software space, of course, has been strong 
AI, semis. Uh, there's been kind of a breadth of leadership to choose from. Um, E-commerce, you know, Shopify, Pinterest, those have been strong names. Let's bring up those charts. Uh, for bringing up pins, great trend here. Um, after this earnings gap, you can see we broke out of this base. Uh, we consolidated above that pivot for quite some time. Um, and this this stock always gets a little bit, uh, it needs a little bit to get moving. You know, there's a lot of head fakes in here, false move up, false move up. And then finally we push up higher. Um, but you know, this has been a nice trend overall if you've managed to catch this and shop as well in the e-commerce space. I've uh, been acting really well since another earnings gap. This, this earnings gap has been a key theme. Uh, if you s take a look at a lot of the charts, November 1, November 2, a lot of them acted extremely well from this point. Um, Uber is another name that came to mind, another leader that is consolidating nicely, forming a little bit of a shelf here above the 21 EMA. And we had a gap up November 2, and then kind of reconfirmed outside reversal, positive outside reversal on November uh, seventh after earnings. So let me close this just, just to focus on the chart here. But there's been a lot of great themes. Um, I mentioned shop earlier. This has also been super strong. Uh, Melly as well um, in the South America space, very strong after an earnings gap. Uh, so definitely study this setup if you haven't already. And there's been some really strong leaders that are now kind of pulling back towards that 21 EMA. I'd love to see a little bit more consolidation, maybe some flat bases form up here. Uh, this one is looking very constructive and you know pulling back, but not on too much volume. Um, and we'll see if these can continue to progress and continue their trends. But we're in the holiday season now, uh, low volume and uh, can be a little bit choppier and, and different than most. So uh, we'll have to see what happens, but overall taking a step back again, look at the QQQ. We're above a rising 21 EMA and pretty much that's all you need to have um, you know, different opportunities emerge in the markets. So diving into some individual names, let's bring up, uh, let's take a look at the DFU leaders screen. Let's take a look at the, let me stop that sort here. Let's take a look at uh, the best percent change names today. Uh, I mentioned the crypto themes, Mara, super strong here, volume picking up. This is getting more and more extended. Uh, Bitcoin looks like it's just kind of sitting up. So uh, we'll have to see what happens here. But this from an individual stock perspective, it's getting very extended. You have an op you had an opportunity here, uh, short term, um, very tight inside day, low volume, um, RMV coming down, as well as a really strong push higher on volume through that high. That was kind of the last low risk opportunity. Um, and, you know, apart from that, you had the base breakout. If I draw in this line here, you had a nice day here, right against the 200 day moving average reconfirmation this day and some potential add on spots here, but it hasn't given too much of a way in uh, coin has been one that's been a little bit more, um, you know, some more spots again, as it broke out of this lower base, then again, this spot here, and now is just trending. So a stock like this, you just, if you're not in it, you just have to kind of watch and wait for the next base if you didn't catch it. But a uh, very strong theme here. Uh, let's take a look. Affirm, this is another kind of online e-commerce space stock that's been one of the strongest performers this year. We had uh, this breakout through around the 27 level kicker candle, and it's just been a rocket ship upward, moving about 87%. This will eventually form another base, and we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I like the pickup in average volume here. You can see the moving average line pick up, as well as individual day, name, uh, individual days rather, uh, also pick up in average volume. Um, STNE, another name that's been super strong here. A little flag potential entry point on this day. Reconfirmation here as well. Um, hasn't given too much. Uh, the cybersecurity names I also want to highlight. Um, S, since its earnings gap up, has been progressing well. Uh, CrowdStrike, if we bring up that, also acting extremely well. Uh, this is one of the first names, you know, strongest names during the correction and then showed some potential viable spots near the 21 EMA here and has progressed really nicely. Uh, Zscaler as well, um, acting really nicely. You can see pulling back the past week, a lot of the leaders are kind of doing this, uh, but still just trending above the 21 EMA. Uh, D-Dog is another name that comes to mind uh, that act, that's acting very well since that earnings gap and trend. So there's plenty of names acting well. A lot of them are pulling back over the past week or so. And what remains to be seen really is whether we continue to pull back, um, you know, retest those 21 EMAs on these leading stocks on the QQQ, or we just kind of reconfirm higher and act well. Going back to the QQQ, 
Uh, the fact that we were able to hold up so well uh, after this downside reversal is definitely a positive, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens next week. Uh, lastly, bringing up some more of the mega cap names, uh, we've got Meta trending above the moving average, a little bit short-term extended, but could pause for a few days and reconfirm. It's acting well. Let's bring up Google. Also a little bit short-term extended, so there's room to pull in here. We're at a potential resistance point here. Wouldn't mind a short-term handle, reconfirmation upward. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, bringing up Netflix, let's take a look there. Uh, this is right near those previous highs. Again, going sideways the past few weeks and wouldn't mind a retest of this prior pivot from this day, consolidation and the reconfirmation up. But uh, overall, that's a quick run through of market indexes, leading stocks, uh, leading themes as well. So let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, what would you add to this discussion? And uh, also let me know if you're watching up to this point, what's your favorite kind of holiday um, you know, tradition in your family. Let me know down below as well as your favorite holiday meal. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel and happy holidays to everybody and take care.